Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. Today's project is going to be a small one. It's a pepper mill from a piece of Evancol slash Shadowa. Stick around, we'll get started. So there really is no stock preparation for today's project. Um, this is a kit, I think I got it from uh, Woodcraft. Uh, what it's looking for is basically a, a tube with a one inch hole that is about three and three quarters inch long. So what I'm going to do is mount this up in the lathe, drill a hole, um, turn the outside, uh, flip it around, turn the other end, make sure it's nice and uh, nice and square, and then put it together. I, I'm not going to try to epoxy it to it because I want it to be able to be taken apart in case I need to uh, uh, work on the mechanism. So let's go over the lathe and we'll get it mounted and drilled. So I've got it mounted up in my chuck. I know it's not the optimum way to do it, but it'll do for drilling it. I'm going to uh, drill a one inch hole, uh, about three and three quarters of an inch deep. And I'll uh, bring up a, a cone live center and turn the outside. So let me uh, gear up and I'll start drilling. I'll turn the speed way down. Okay, that'll work. All right, so I've got it mounted up. Let me uh, grab a roofing gouge and I'll turn it down to round. Turn it about 1200 RPM. My first time turning this piece is I picked the blank up at the Rockler Woodcraft. Um, apparently it's high in silica content so it has a tendency to dull tools so just FYI. As far as shaping for the kit, um, really as long as the outside doesn't match the inside you're pretty much okay. Um, I do want to make sure that I keep the um, diameter at the top at or above this uh, the, the top of this little ferrule here that, that goes down to it. it looks like that is about an inch and an eighth so eighth inch wall thickness is about the thinnest you want to go with that end I'm, I'm probably going to come nowhere close to that so let me um, I'm going to mark out the length of it, which will give me a reference point to kind of make a mark and work on shaping down the bulk of it. I'm really just going to make it so that it's comfortable in my hand. Um, and that should be good.
Okay, looks like this is not going to be much of a turning project. <laughs> Let me um, sand it and throw a little bit of finish on it, and then I'll switch chucks and, and work on the end. And work on the end, then cut it off, then flip it around and work on the other end. Part of that wobbled a little when I took the uh, tailstock away, so I think I'm just going to hit the, hit this with sandpaper rather than try to uh, hit it with a tool. Just about. No problem when I flip it around. Back in a minute. So it just so happens that the pen jaws on my uh, talon chuck just fit perfectly in a one inch hole. Let me tighten this chip for kind of just a smidge. And I'll work on uh, opening up that hole. And it'll look a little wobbly, and that's okay. Um, it, it's not really that important. Just gotta be careful. Get some friction polish on it, and then I'll flip it around and put some friction polish on the other end. Be a good size. See what it looks like. Epoxy here and super glue just to hold that lid down, but you get the idea. Should work well. well that is that. 
first time here, please be sure to hit subscribe. I try to put out one of these a week or so. Um, comment, like, share. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Take care.